this. Um, so here we're gonna, um, we have a, a plane here, and we're, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to um, figure out a few things. We're gonna figure out uh, what the, the plane is, and then I'm gonna also find the vector that's normal to this. This particular, these, uh, uh, this is a plane that contains these points, okay? And I'm gonna use this P as our central point, okay? So, um, and uh, this uh, becomes an area, and then, we're, so we're gonna find three things, but let's just do one thing at, one thing at a time. Always a good thing, always a good thing, one thing at a time. Okay, so basically let's draw and see what's going on. Okay, always a good thing to do. And these are all a plane. I'm gonna draw it horizontally, so this isn't particularly accurate, but you know, obviously it's oriented, it can be slanted in a certain way, but I'm just gonna kind of throw you uh, sort of abstractly so we can understand what's going on, right? All right, so basically we have two things here, right? Okay, P and Q, and then we're gonna have a, um, a normal, right? Something that's normal to this, right? So we want to figure out the equation of this, and how do we figure that out? Well, we remember this is simply the cross product of these two vectors, okay? So if we can find the cross product of these vectors, we'll find a, plane, uh, a, a vector that's actually perpendicular to both of them, right? So let's try that. Let's first, by, let's first start by establishing what PQ and PR are. PQ simply is going to be this minus this. So we, we, uh, what do we get? We get negative one, right? We're doing Q, basically we're subtracting, right? This becomes negative one, right, uh, six and negative two, right? That's PQ, okay? PR is simply what? Uh, negative two, right? One minus three, right? Zero minus one is negative one. And this becomes uh, one minus, mi minus one minus four, which is minus five, okay? So this, uh, now we've established what these two vectors are, okay? And we're subtracting them simply because if we sort of treat uh, P as sort of the, uh, the beginning point, um, then that's what these two vectors would, would be, okay? Again, vectors can be moved all around through space and they stay the same. Okay, now, based on this, what we want to do is find out uh, what this vector is n, what is normal. Well, we knew that that simply is going to be PQ cross PR, okay? That's one of the properties that will be determined. And now I'm going to use the determinant, right? I j, k, right? And then I'm going to put negative 1, 6, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 5, okay? This is by definition what the cross product is, okay? See these? Negative 1, 6, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 5, okay? So this is simply the cross product which will give us this vector which is perpendicular to these two lines. This is the definition, all right? So you just plug, plug that right in there, okay? Now, if you remember how to find the determinant, and if you don't, again, I would uh, recommend that you uh, go check some of the other uh, sections um, and figure out how to find the determinant of a three, this is a, of a three by three matrix, okay? So there's always that crisscross thing uh, where you go this, right? So again, if you don't know what I'm doing, I would go check the section on finding the determinants of a three by three matrix. So here we go, uh, this, right? So I basically added these two, okay? So we know that if we add these two terms, and subtract these terms, right? We're going to get, right? Subtract these three, t the, these terms. We're going to get the determinant. So let's write down what that is. So what I, my calculation is, we get thirty i. I mean negative thirty i, right? Negative thirty i plus four j, right? Plus k, right? It's minus minus, right? Plus k. Now we're going to go the other direction, right? So we have minus positive 5i, five 5j, five right? Minus, right? Uh, uh, yeah, minus, this would be minus positive 2i, right? Right, and this is um, this right here, 6, 2. So this is a minus 12. So it's minus, minus 12, right? So minus, minus 12k, right? And this all simplifies down to minus 32i minus j plus 13k, okay? This, right, is this particular, uh, this, is, this is this particular, um, by definition of the cross product, that this represents the vector that is normal to these two, um, these two vectors on the plane. Okay, so it, in fact, it becomes normal to the whole plane. So what does that mean? 
So we know, so we've answered now with the first part of this question, correct, right? Now we find, find the equation of the plane. Well, we know how to do that, right? This is simply negative 32x, right, minus y, plus 13z equals some value d, okay? So what we want to do is we want to plug in some value. One of these values could be any of these. Gee, this looks pretty nice, right? Ones and zeros and negative ones. We like that. So I'm going to use this, okay? But we couldn't actually use any of these, and, and it's going to give us a, it's going to give us an equation, the, the right equation of the plane, okay? So um, and you, you know, if you want to try it on your own, just to make sure, you can you can see if the other ones work as well. So we go negative 32, um, and this is one, right? Minus zero, right? plus 13 times negative 1, and that looks to me like that gives us um, negative 45, okay? So our equation of the plane, right, I'll write it right here, is negative 32x, right, minus y plus 13z equals negative 45, okay? So this is our equation of the plane, okay? And then, of course, if we want to plot it, we do x, y, and z uh, intercepts, and we can plot it that way, okay? Uh, you can look early in the, in the section if you, if you forgot how to do that, okay? So this is our equation of the plane. Okay, so now uh, let's find the area, area of the parallelogram with the sides formed by, by these. So basically this parallelogram here, right? That forms a parallelogram, right? Okay, and we want to find out the area of this. Now, of course, we know we can find it by... Um, Right? This is one way. PQ, magnitude of that, right? A PR, right? Sine theta, right? However, we don't really have sine theta, right? So um, it's, uh, and we don't really have any other angles to work with, so we can't really calculate it that way. However, it does tell us that, in fact, that's going to give us the height, and so it does establish that, yes, in fact, that's going to be the area. So why don't we do this? Let's just take the magnitude of this, all right? And that becomes the magnitude of PQ, right? times PR, all right, is going to give us the area, right? Uh, there's one of the properties, right? Equals square root of 32 squared plus minus 1 squared. I'm simply using, I'm simply using these, right? All right, plus 13 squared. Okay, and I, from that, you actually get some crazy number, 1194, right? And, um, at that point, we bring out the old calculator, and we actually get um, something approximately 33, 34.55. So that becomes the area um, roughly, um, I mean, I just, when I say roughly, meaning I just rounded, okay? So this is an exact, this is the exact value, but roughly it's 34.55 is the area that's formed by the triangle, uh, by the um, parallelogram that is defined by these two vectors, okay? In other words, we, we'd write the other two sides here, right? And that becomes this area. Of course, if we put a line here and we, we want to figure out what is the area defined by the triangle, of course, that's simply going to be one half of that. So one half of that would be whatever, around, um, you know, 17 something, right? 17 and some change. Okay, so that would be the area of the triangle. So this becomes the area of the parall parallelogram, okay? The equation of the plane, becomes this, right? And simply the normal is simply calculated from the cross product. The normal equals negative 32i minus j plus 13k. Okay? So that's um, that's kind of how you work in three dimensions, okay? And uh, as, I, as I was saying, you know, it's really a lot of times it's just a matter of adding on uh, that, that third term. And... Um, you know, uh, it doesn't hurt sometimes, you know, again, working algebraically, it's really not that tricky. And, you know, maybe even uh, geometrically, you might want to, you know, double check and, you know, make sure you do your drawings so you understand what's going on. Because it's always better, always better, since we're talking about points in space and vectors in space, it's always good to understand what's actually um, happening, right, visually, okay? So, uh, but anyway, algebraically, you see, uh, this is how you do the calculations. Cross products is a new thing we've introduced, and that helps us with things like finding uh, normals, um, and uh, um, and also um, areas of the parallelograms. Okay, so those are the different types of questions you're gonna you're, you're gonna encounter as you do this uh, particular section. So um, that gives you a whole range of, of, of problems, and uh, now you should be in good shape as far as uh, handling the vector section of, of precalculus. Um, and thank you very much for using Educator.com.